Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to resolve stale element reference exception in Selenium. We say an element goes stale when it was previously located but cannot be currently accessed. And if we try to access that element which was located, then we get the stale element reference exception. So the common cause for getting this exception is you might have refreshed the page. You must have located the element then perform some operations or you must have refreshed the page. And then you are trying to use the same element which was located earlier. So you, you wanted to interact with that, uh, you know, that element which was located before the refresh. Then we get this stale element reference exception. Example. So we have this, right? Uh, on the screen, you see this start button. So I wanted, the, we just navigate to this URL and we wanted to click on this button. This start is a button. So we wanted to click on the start button. So before clicking, we just wanted to, once this URL is loaded, right? So once this is loaded, we wanted to refresh, reload, reload this page, reload this page, and then we wanted to click on the start button. So this is what we wanted to automate now. Now here is the code for it. So you can see driver, is an web driver instance so uh, which has been instantiated with chrome driver and uh, we can see we are navigating to that url and then uh, we located the start button here you can see so start button is there and you might perform some operations using the start button it's up to you but we reload the page so you i'm using refresh method here to reload the page right then after reload uh, we are trying to click on the start button, right? So let's verify this. Now it has to open the URL and then it has to maximize the window, then refresh the page or reload the page and then try to locate the element and uh, you know click on the start button so yes it's done and you can see yeah intentionally i didn't uh, write the driver dot quit so statement so we wanted to see what's happening on the screen so if you see it was not able to click on start button and you can see the exception here stale element reference exception stale element reference stale element not found right so what happened here was like when we try to, you know, locate the element, the element, when we try to locate the elements, what happens here is elements do not get relocated automatically, right? So the driver creates a reference ID for the element when we try to locate the elements. So using find, el find element method, so the driver creates a reference ID for that element and has a particular place it expects to find it in the DOM document object model. So if it cannot find the element in the current DOM, then any action using that element will result in this stale element reference exception, right? So how do we resolve this? Or, you know, say for example, if we think like uh, this, this is due to page load time issue, right? So let's check that. So say for example, we are reloading the page, right? So we might think like uh, the page was not, not loaded by the time we are trying to click on the start button, right? So for that, how do we check that? I'll just wait for some 10 seconds. We wanted to check if this is the page load time issue, right? So if the page was loaded slowly after the reload and uh, that it, that might be causing this issue, right? So that might be the reason start button was might not be visible on the page, right? So let's verify that. We are just after reloading the page, we are waiting for 10 seconds. Yeah, done. Now you can see it is waiting for 10 seconds.
before trying to click on the start button. And yes, so we still got an exception, same exception, still element reference exception. So this proves that it is not due to the slow page or page load time issue, right? So it's not that. And also, if that was the case, we would have get, got a different exception called no such element exception. So we confirm that. Now, how do we fix this issue? Stale element reference issue, right? So uh, if you see here, we are locating the element. Then after refresh, the reference ID for that element will would be different. That's the reason it was not able to locate this element, right? So what's the solution for this is we just need to, we can, as we are getting the exception. So let's catch this exception and locate the element again. Stale element reference exception. And then we can just say stale element reference exception caught. And what do we need to do? We just need to locate this element again. And click on the button. So how did we fix it? We are locating the element again. So we located the element before re reloading the page. So we are doing it again after reloading the page page as we are getting this stale element reference exception. So we just repeated these two lines, right? Now, let us see. And now you can clearly see, we were able to click on the start button, right? So, and also you can go and verify the console output. So stale element reference exception caught, right? We didn't get the exception again. So this is how we can resolve the stale element reference exception. So this is one of the uh, important, like one of the top costs for uh, getting the stale element reference exception. Other causes could be the DOM of the page might have dynamically changed. Even in that case, we get the stale element reference exception. So again, like how do we resolve that? We always need to locate the element again, every time whenever you wanted to use it, right? The other causes, so apart from refreshing the page and page has dynamically changed. So ap apart from that, there could be some other causes like you might have switched to another window or out of a frame or to another iframe. So in that case, what happens? The element reference will still be valid, but will be temporarily inaccessible. So in that case, it won't help to relocate the element because it doesn't exist in the current context. So to fix that, you need to make sure to switch back to the correct context before using the element, right? So let me put, put the notes here. So when do we get this exception? So this is previously located and but cannot be currently accessed, right? And what are the causes? I'm writing the causes here. First one is refreshing the page or DOM of the page might have dynamically changed. Or you might have switched to another window or iframe, right? So in that case, so we need to, we can fix this by making sure that to switch back to the correct context, correct context before using the element. And there is another cause, like you might have navigated to a different page altogether, not a different window. You might have navigated to a different page. So in that case, so the context might have completely destroyed in which the element was located. And in such scenario, you must both navigate back to the correct location and also locate the element as you are in a completely different page, right? So these are the causes and how do you fix this stale element reference exception? So just to recap, uh, so we say an element goes to stale when it was previously located, but cannot be currently accessed. So we usually get this uh, exception when we refresh the page. So in such case, like how do we actually resolve that? We need to 
locate the element. We need to locate the element every time we, we are going to use the element, right? And uh, the other causes are when you might have switched to another window or iframe. So in that case, we'll make sure to switch back to the correct context before using the element. And the other cause could be you might have navigated to a different page. So in that case, you'll get back or navigate back to the correct location and then you will locate the element. So these are the like uh, main causes for this trail element reference exception and how do how to we resolve that exception. So that's all for this video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and share it. Thanks for watching.